So, I forgot to actually go get a battle recorded last night because I was just distracted from doing other stuff after work. And I'm not really moved for live showdown, so you get another post narrative showdown game. So, anyways, hey guys, well, we got a game here today against this guy right here. It's only one, and I'm not getting confused, you guys. So, eh. <laughs> but, anyways, um, my team, I'm using that one team that's just the randomly thrown Kangaskhan on there. I'm thinking about replacing Staraptor, actually. Like, in all honesty, like, not Talonflame, but just something. That's like similar scarfed like that still has some nice power because it's just kind of weird but it still works it's just a bit weird but anyways uh, opponent's team he's got a bunch of threats I mean he's got the Galvantula and Kangaskhan combo so I gotta kind of watch out for that and hopefully I can get out of the way before Sticky Web becomes you know some kind of threat he's got a Haunch Crow too which is like I mean it's not that threatening but it's just got that you know aura of fuck this can do some stuff to me so yeah I mean it's nothing too bad, but I should be able to work around what he's got for the most part, so it's just really me not sucking. So, leads on his end, I figured maybe he'd want to go out the Galvantula and just get the Sticky Web right off the bat, so I figured, okay, I can go with my Greninja and hopefully be okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So, let's get into it. So, I'm going to leave with Greninja. He's actually going to lead off the Rotom. I figured he wouldn't be a Scarf Rotom, just judging on what his team was. So I'd set a U-turn right off the bat, just to get some damage going, and then uh, see what he's got going on. Going to Ferrothorn just for safety, and he goes Light Screen, so apparently Dual Screening Rotom is actually a thing that people are doing right now, but whatever the case, he's just going to go for Volt Switch to get out of there. He has no risk in not going for Volt Switch, so it's like, whatever. But he goes into Politoed, I try and Leech Seed, but I miss, and it's like, god fucking damn it. But I figured he just wanted to get rain up and he shouldn't be able to do too much to me, so I just decided to go for another leech seed, but unfortunately he does hit focus blast and it does do a lot, so I'm gonna have to switch out right here, and really the only thing I have that wants to take a hit from Politoed is gonna be my Rotom. And here he goes for the scald and he hits the burn, so I mean it's just like instance after instance of just stupid retardedness, so that's always fun. But here I am just gonna volt switch out because that is my better play to make right now. So, I might as well just do that. I mean, even if he goes into Excadrill, I doubt it really wants to stay in anyways, because he doesn't know how much speed investment I may or may not have. So, it is smarter for him to just uh, go into Rotom first and then go Excadrill later on. But, I do just go out into Ferrothorn just for safety reasons, and he goes Volt Switch into Excadrill. I'm like, okay, he is not going to spin here, because he doesn't want to take all that damage and potentially die. But, it's like... I was in a situation where I could have stayed in and sacked Ferrothorn, but I figured he would want to go for Earthquake more than he want to spin, but he spins and it's just like, what? Oh, come on. I mean, there's an, a level of prediction that should happen, and it just didn't seem like that kind of point to go for that kind of move, but apparently I'm probably just stupid or something. But whatever the case, I just go back into Ferrothorn and kind of just die because with that Mold Breaker, nothing's going to really want to take a hit from that thing. Just a switch in hit, rather, so I just let it die. Uh, gonna go into Kangaskhan now and just go for Power Up Punch. He goes into Rotom, I guess, hoping it would uh, die to one Power Up Punch so I didn't get plus two. But luckily for me, I do get plus two off, so that's awesome. But he goes into Galvantula right here and actually goes for Thunder Wave as opposed to Sticky Web. Which, I mean, yeah, it immediately cripples my Kangaskhan. But it, it, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? I mean, it doesn't offer as much uh, later on support. If he just had Sticky Web, you know? So, I don't know, I found, it, found that kind of weird, but it, it works. Not to say it doesn't, but it just, it's weird. But anyways, he goes into Politoed right here. <clears throat> I tried to Sucker Punch at first, but he did have Parasong. I was thinking that he might have something like that, but I thought maybe he would just go Status Move instead. But Politoed, it, it is kind of standard to have the, uh, the Parasong. So I should have just gone straight up Return, but it doesn't really matter. It's Return right there on the... Uh, Punch croaks. I knew Sucker Punch was coming, and it did, and uh, I'm able to live and take it out with Return, so that's cool, but here, he megas up his Kangaskhan, I did click Sucker Punch, but I get paralyzed right at that moment where it would have just made the huge fucking difference, and he's able to fucking take me down, which, I mean, it's not that huge of a deal, because I still have ways I can potentially deal with Kangaskhan, it's just going to be a little bit annoying, but anyways, bringing Grand Ninja, because it still is a rain boosted Hydro Pump, and if I do get it off on that Kangaskhan, that should make it manageable, but... I missed this Hydro Pump, which is like, God, fucking come on! Seriously? And then he just takes me out with Crunch, so that's just glorious. So, I'm gonna go to Rotom right here and hope that I can live a return and just get a burn off on him, but no dice, and I die. 
So I'm like, all right, Straptor, you need to somehow do enough damage with Brave Bird, because close combat, there's no way that's doing... I don't think close combat would do more than Brave Bird, but I'm not sure, because I think Reckless would boost it high enough, but I don't know. I don't fucking remember. I don't fucking care. But he just takes me out, and I figured here... I mean, he did reveal Crunch, but I had a feeling he may have both Crunch and Sucker Punch. So I was like, all right, we'll just sub. I felt like Sucker Punch was way more obvious because I hadn't revealed Gengar yet. So Sucker Punch seemed like the move to go for, but he just crunched right there and I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to have to go for Sludge Bomb. And luckily he does not have the Sucker Punch, which is like, I mean, it makes sense that he does it or why he doesn't, but I feel like still it may be a good move to have, but he probably just has Earthquake in his last slot, which is a good thing to have, but it obviously kind of bit him a little bit, but I guess he is still trying to play off the Galvantula, but it's like... He didn't even have Sticky Web, or he just has both Sticky Web and Thunder Wave, but I don't know. Whatever the case, that's the game. So GG guy. It did get very close, but it was a little bit weird, but I guess, you know, it works. I don't know. Fucking whatever. I'm not one to judge, because I kind of suck, but whatever. Anyways, that is it for this. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, such, such, blah. Or comment, sub, and later, guys.